I'm not a shock comic. I'm not going to try and shock you. I mean, you might have heard the words already earlier tonight or in stand-up. You know the words, the big offensive words that the comedians say. I'm just going to say them. I hope that's okay. I'm not making any jokes. The big three are rape, pedophilia, necrophilia. They're the big three. The terrible acts. Not worth joking about. The thing is, it's just I've always thought that murder is like a far worse act. You know, murder is the worst thing that a person can do. But that word, murder... It doesn't shock us in the same way. No, it's far more socially acceptable. If you don't believe me, let me ask you all a question, right? Do you think that Sophie Ellis Bexter <laughs> would have had anywhere near the level of success that she had if she'd released a single called Pedophilia on the Dance Floor? Do you? <laughs> do you? I don't. I don't think Agatha Christie was ever going to write a Poirot novel called Necrophilia on the Orient Express. You know? <laughs> Certainly don't think Dick Van Dyke will ever star in a daytime hospital drama called Diagnosis Rape. I was like, what? It's <laughs> bullshit. It's because I say things like that, which is why I'm never going to be famous. I'm never going to be a star. Why, you fucked up my one opportunity. <laughs> I've been waiting my whole life and you fucked up. I'm never, I'm never, well done, well done. Mission accomplished, mates. And you never, my name's Sean McLaughlin. It's not a name worth remembering. You're never going to say to your friend, Sean McLaughlin, yeah, I saw before he was famous. You'll never say that. You'll never say that. The best you'll ever say is Sean McLaughlin. Yeah, I saw him before he killed all those people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 